Your father has been ignoring every single one of my messages. It's probably why he moved out in the first place, right? He's behaving like a child. What does he think he's doing? Running away from home like that? Oh, you didn't use the D word this time. It's just being dramatic. You know what? You should go talk to him. Convince him to come to his senses. Why? Why? To nip this in the bud before it causes any embarrassment. But you don't love each other. What does love have to do with this? Tolerance is all you need to avoid a messy divorce. You know Richard really loves you. Who cares about that fool? I will not be the next ex, Mrs. Shelley. It should. Congratulations. Jessica's about to be the next ex Mrs. Shelley. Excuse me? Oh, you haven't heard. I didn't say that. Jessica mentioned to me that she has some wonderful news to share with me. <laughs> nice try. She's practically flooded my phone with SMSs. Begging me to return home. I'm feeling much better now, thanks. Charlie's doing really well too. That's good. I'm thinking of going back to Hong Kong for good. Uh... Yeah, okay, then uh, I'll, I'll book our tickets. Are you sure about this? Are you really ready to give up on Ananya? The phone's been ringing non-stop. Richard is being a real pest. Richard? Well, he tried to call me just now too, but I missed the call. He must have heard that your father has moved out, and now he's trying his luck. I wonder if I should just block his number and be done with it. It does seem a little obsessive. You don't know half of it. Do you remember what happened on that SG Unsolved website? The one that was spreading lies about your past? It was all his doing. Wait, what? That's harassment. If I were you, I would get a protection order against him immediately. He's just a minor annoyance. I can handle him. What we should be focusing on is how we're going to deal with Charles and KSUH. We need to get you your CEO position back. So you messaged Belle with your real account. And she responded. That's good what? By blocking me. I can't even view her profile anymore. Ah. So how? I don't know. At this point, there really isn't very much I can do. It's Belle. She messaged me. She wants to meet? Wait, means what? She's actually in Singapore? No, you need to stop contacting her. I thought you supported us. You know that Jessica and Derek do not love each other, right? I guess. But I was mistaken about Jessica's feelings for you. I'm not. We've been talking about this for a very long time, running away together. Now that Derek's out of the picture, we can finally do that. I'm sorry I have to do this, but... You know Richard really loves you. Who cares about that fool? I will not be the next ex, Mrs. Shelley. Doesn't seem like she's gonna change her mind anytime soon about this. So maybe it's just best if you move on. That ungrateful... Do you have any idea what I've had to give up for her? I've lied for her. I even went to jail for her. Is this about the organ trafficking thing? That's just the tip of the iceberg. You have no idea what she's done. What I've done to protect her. Shirley, you're exaggerating. I was there when she killed her so-called business partner, Alan Teo. Okay, now you're making things up. I have proof. Okay, let's see it. It's in a safe place. 
but I'm more than happy to share it with you. So that you can see Jessica for who she really is. What do you want, Shaman? I want to have lunch. Charles? You didn't leave me much choice when you blocked my number. I promise it'll be the last thing I ever ask of you, Ananya. You say should we hear about what time? Like now? Hey, three o'clock, there's this woman. Don't look! Oh, she's coming to us now. Ella? Belle, oh my god, I almost couldn't recognize you. I, I don't have much time. I need your help. Yeah. That took you a while. Yeah, I have to stop by for patrol after getting lunch. Anyway, I've decided to block Richard. I just hope he doesn't act out or do something stupid. We all know how emotional he can get. Yeah, I'd stay far from him as possible if I were you. It's funny. I thought you were supportive of me pursuing some kind of relationship with him. That's before you told me he tried to destroy your reputation. I see. So you saw Cindy OD and then Jessica made you steal her phone? Why didn't you go to the police? Elizabeth threatened to release videos taken of me with my clients. Like, videos taken in the hotel room. So after that, they sent you overseas? I tried to quit, but Elizabeth refused to let me. I only have one client now. He's a very rich guy who lives in Hong Kong. I'm supposed to be on standby for him 24-7. So that's where you've been on this while? And that's why I have to keep posting on social media, so they think I'm still there. But yesterday, when I flew back, I noticed that somebody was following me. You think Elizabeth knows that you came back? It doesn't matter. We are working to expose both Elizabeth and Jessica. And once we have enough evidence to do that, you don't have to worry anymore. I have something from Cindy that might help. Matthew, I'm so sorry and for what I did to you. But she offered me a lot of money and I, and I couldn't say no. Because of Jessica Shelley. I'm sorry she, she made me accuse you. I'm so sorry. What is this, Charles? going to the places we used to go to, reliving our dates. None of this is gonna work, okay? We are not getting back together. We are over. Oh, so you do remember our dates? <sighs> okay. I see you have fond memories of our times together, even though you dumped me so callously. I didn't dump you. You're the one that... Oh, so we're still together. Stop twisting things. Can you deny? that you took an interest in me because I was Derek's protege and because you and James had this rivalry and I was part of your revenge plan against the Shelleys. Can you deny? Uh, I can't deny that. I did take an interest in you because of that, but... Oh, so is that what all of this is about? Because you still haven't let go? Huh? You're still hung up? Can you just stop interrupting me? That's because you keep interrupting me. Look, just... Stop playing these mind games, Charles. Just tell me what you want. I just want to say goodbye. Fine. Goodbye. And I want you to know that I still love you. <sighs> and I can prove it. Charles has transferred every single property on Jalan Takdir back to me. What? A courier delivered this package to my suite this morning. Whatever possessed him to do something like that? Must have had something to do with my heartfelt and sincere apology. How peculiar. I suppose this means that he has forgiven you for how you treated Henry. Must be. Well, you must be pleased with yourself. There just might be a shred of humanity left in him after all. 
Belle will be lying low for a while and staying with Debbie and Matthew put us in touch with Shaifo. Says with the police now. Yeah, Matthew wasn't surprised at all to find out that Jessica was the one who coerced Cindy into framing him. I'm sure there'll be others like Belle who have been exploited by Jessica and Elizabeth. He also mentioned that they may have found some evidence linking Elizabeth to Ellen in Ellen's USB drive. So, definitely on the right track. Wow. It's crazy to think how at one point we had nothing on Jessica and now we do. Is Matt here yet? Nope. He won't believe it. Richard told me he has proof of Jessica's involvement in Ellen's death. Really? I didn't believe it either. But he's going to show me later. Apparently he hid it in some safe place. That's him. He wants to meet. Okay. I have to go. I I'm not sure where this place is. That's quite far from here. Why do you just wait for Matthew? He'll be suspicious if he turns up with me. I have to go alone. Should we have let her just go? It'll be fine. Richard's a softy. So you finally made peace with Derek? I'm trying. I'm trying to learn to be grateful for what I have. I mean, Emily is safe. You seem to be happy. Even if it's without me. You'll get over me. No, I won't. You don't know how much I regret making that promise to wait for you until Nikki turns 18. I should have swept you off your feet. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Never liked his looking back at me Cause everything seems wrong So here we are, pretenders with a fantasy And the games... James always had luck on the side, huh? I wish you and James the best. And if he screws up, you can be sure I'll be back. Sweeping you off your feet. So won't you save me from myself? I build these walls and I can feel you now. And I can't save me from myself. <laughs> but I will try until it all comes down. Cause you're the one that I can live without Hey, since when you work here? <laughs> I know, right? Ella went off to meet Belle and Debbie and you went to meet Richard, so... Richard? Mm hmm Apparently there's evidence linking Jessica to Ellen. What? You mean she didn't tell you? No, I haven't heard from her the whole afternoon. And you let her go alone? You guys should have updated me about this. Oh, how are we supposed to know she didn't tell you? Oh, never mind. Do you know where they're meeting? Yeah, it's at some... Oh, hold on, I'll find out on the map. Jeffo, I need some help from patrol side. So, let's see it. You know, Yoke. I've been asking myself one question. Why are you so eager to see what I have? Well, if there's evidence out there that incriminates Jessica, I want to know. She's my mother. Plus, I like to stay in front of things. How filial of you. never get to see them again. Just like how I will never get to see Adam again. So choose. His death is your fault. We told you to keep your distance, but you refused to listen. I said I would take him away, but that wasn't enough for you. He knew too much. And you never wanted out of the business because of your greed. You've finally seen exactly what your mother is capable of. 
Now let's have it. I'm sorry, but I think I'll hold on to this. Of course you are. You're terribly easy to read, you know that, Yoke? No, I don't know what it is you want. But I really don't care. You can try to stop me if you can. Yoke! I think the question is, are you trying to protect your mother or sabotage her? Do tell, Yoke. I would love to hear that answer as well. I always cover my bases. Surely you know that by now. Debbie, I'm almost at your place ready. I don't know how, but Elizabeth found out that Belle came back and wants to expose her. Belle's gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone means gone lah. I went downstairs to tapau food. When I came back, she wasn't there. You must be confused. I must apologize for this little ruse, but it was the only way I could figure out who I can really trust. So, hand over the phone, and we can all go home. This place is creepy. You used me. Oh, but it's okay. I mean, we are on the same side, aren't we? What are you going to do? Destroy the evidence? Probably. I mean, murder is a capital offence. And we can't have that, can we? I'm sorry, Jessica, but this is going straight to the police. I told you, Jess. <sighs> so you would betray your own mother? Your own flesh and blood? For what? Some blind pursuit of justice? Must be influenced by that self-righteous husband of hers. Enough is enough. You've stolen the organs of desperate people. You've exploited the innocence of young women. I was empowering them to earn a proper income. Ella was raped because of you. She played with fire and she got burned. Then what about how you drugged Matthew? And you forced Derek to get rid of the evidence? Matthew could have died. And now you've killed Ellen. I didn't do it in cold blood. I got justice for my son. So that's what happened to Adam. He was killed by your so-called business partner. You have no idea how many times I begged Alan to let me go. But he threatened me, Yo. He threatened all of us. I'm sorry, I don't believe anything you say anymore. I had no choice. This was the only way we could be free. Please. Jessica, now I'm begging you. Turn yourself in before it's too late. What did you say to Belle? Belle? I heard she was in town and asked if she wanted to catch up for tea. I wouldn't be so smug if I were you. The police have evidence of your crimes and your links to Ellen Teo. Ellen who? Cut the crap. I know all about your secret business venture with Jessica, Ellen and Hawk. And so does the CID. In fact, you'll probably be getting a call from them soon, asking you to join them for tea. Your empty threats don't scare me, Ella. Although I suppose your most heinous crime is exploiting and blackmailing vulnerable girls like Bella and myself. What happened to you is unfortunate, Ella, but you only have one option here. Go to the police and give Jessica up. Because if you wait for them to come and arrest you, you lose the only bargaining chip you have. You are mad if you think I'll simply turn myself in. Jessica's made moves to protect herself. Ellen's dead. And Hawk's taking the blame for Ellen's murder. Do you really think Jessica's going to save you when she's busy saving herself? Now you get to beat her to the punch. In exchange for a more lenient sentence for yourself. It's up to you. I don't expect you to understand you. Not until you're older. There's nothing to understand. You can't keep justifying your crimes. This is the real world. It's not all just sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes you have to make hard choices in order to survive. Stop deluding yourself. 
I must say, yo, this is rather disappointing. I expected more from you. I'm calling the police. And I'm sorry it has to come to this. Wrong phone, Richard. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Jessica, Jessica, we have to go. We need the phone. We have no time. Come on, come on. Help me, help me. Leave her. We need leverage, you idiot. The phone, Richard. We need the phone. There's no way we can get it tonight. Get in. Chan would allow her to see you. But she left you some food and told me to give you a big hug. It's okay. And she said she left you a note. Um, there, I guess. Yeah, so I should head back to FSC. Okay. Thanks. You alright? 